Howdy YouTube. Moving up in the world. I got something really exciting to show you. Check this out. Ooh, look at this. I got a refrigerator, guys. And holy cow, am I excited. This thing's awesome. I have not found a thing about this product that I don't like. Um, at first, the only initial thing I was thinking about was that the lid didn't seem to really there's no gasket or anything, even really cheap. Like I've got a little Magic Chef fridge in my office and even that thing has a decent gasket in it. And at first I thought, man, for 500 bucks, you would think this thing would have a gasket. And by the way, this is the Dometic Cool Freeze CF50. You can see the one thing actually that I don't like, which isn't a huge deal because I am going to have solar before too terribly long but I would have really preferred it if this plug was the same shape as this plug. This is the 12 volt plug that just makes a nice L and you can see how that just tucks real nicely back there and I've got a plug that you can see just the edge of it there is where the plug is so this thing fits just perfectly in this space and let me see, you got all your controls here. On, off, set. I've got it, um, it goes in two degree increments. So I've had it at 28, but it doesn't seem to be freezing my bananas quite solid, so I'm probably gonna lower it. Let me know what you guys run your freezers at, because I am going to use this as a freezer. And let me tell you the most exciting thing. And real quick about the gasket. You know, at first I was thinking about that, but then I realized, you know, cold air falls so it shouldn't really be an issue I mean the air should stay in here the cold air I mean I'm not gonna sit here with it open but even with uh with no gasket I think it should be fine and it seems to be doing great so far I just have a salad in here that I just threw in from work I've got some dates I've got a ton of bananas the whole bottom of this thing each of these trays is uh has enough bananas like four bananas worth of bananas. Um, each one will make a nice dessert for me and I'll show you what I have in mind with that. Um, this is my favorite thing about the fridge. They call this a dairy compartment, which if you know me, you know I'm not gonna have any dairy in there. What I really wasn't sure about when I saw this fridge online and I was really, really hoping would be the case is that when I set this to freeze, it's hard to see on camera, but you can see these ice crystals shimmering and it's really icy in here as you can tell. Um, so this stays nice and frozen cold, but this behaves as a fridge and that's what I was really, really hoping this fridge would do and I'm so glad it does. My plan, if that wasn't the case, if this thing froze really cold too, I was going to uh, just keep some of those like plastic freezer packs and just throw them in an ice chest to have a fridge. That's still an option if I need more fridge space, but really what I want to focus on is freezer space. And I'll explain why in a minute. So if I needed to, I could just have my other little Coleman, uh, little picnic cooler, just a little cheap one. You've seen it before on my channel. I could just have that and have some of those packs that I just keep in here and then throw in there and use that as a fridge. Um, but really, I've got my juice in here, um, and I can fit two mason jars in this, which is really rad. Um, some chia seeds and some, this is from our Thanksgiving dinner at work. This cranberry sauce stuff is unbelievable. Nice organic cranberries. Um, so even with this in here, I can still fit some stuff, and this would probably be my home for my sourdough starter. I would have room to have like some iced tea. I want to make some sun brew to keep in here. Um, you know, I got a juicer now as well, which uh, I'll do more about and show you a demo on before long. I also got this other exciting gadget that you can just see the handle of, and I'll show you that another time too. That is a uh, fruit sorbet maker type deal, which is what all those bananas are for. So when it's late at night, and I want something sweet. I don't have to go to the corner store and get some garbage. I've got everything in here. I mean, if I want dates, I got dates. These will stay good forever. Dates, the cool thing about dates is they're so high in sugar 
if I can get the lid off one handed. They don't freeze solid, so even when you put these in the freezer, they just uh, stay nice and gooey. Um, so man, that is, that's awesome. And you can see I've got more room in here. So really, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is putting like some frozen vegetables, frozen peas, stuff like that. Then I've always got some veggies to add when I cook rice or quinoa or whatever I do. So let's do an experiment, guys. As someone who grew up watching Mr. Wizard's World, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So I told you about this side of the cooler over here that is like a refrigerator that doesn't get as cold. And then I've got the freezer side, the main compartment here, so I can make this freeze. And then theoretically, this should stay like a fridge. So for this experiment, I've got a mason jar with a two inch ice cube. I've got another mason jar with another two inch ice cube over here. And it is about 8 p.m. So in about 12 hours, my expectation is that this should probably be melted, at least somewhat melted, and this will uh, still be solid with no liquid, no water in the bottom of the jar. That's my expectation. And it could take longer than 12 hours because this might still stay solid longer. I don't know. We'll see in the morning. And if it's not thawed in the morning, we'll just see how long it takes just out of curiosity. So this will be fun, guys. See you in the morning. All right, guys, it is, let me double check. I think it's 8 a.m. Oh, wow, it's already 10 a.m. So it's been 14 hours. And let's see how our experiment came out. Look, we still got a fully solid ice cube, no water in the bottom on the freezer part. And then on what I'm calling the little fridge here. Let's check this out. Still got just a little bit of ice. So it is cold enough to keep this much ice after 14 hours. But as you can tell, eventually this would completely thaw and just be very, very cold. The one thing I forgot to mention is the handles. You can put handles on the side. Um, I don't have them with me in the van right now. They come out probably about that far. They just attach with some screws. Um, I'm not gonna put them on because that would stick out really far. Plus, even on this side, I wouldn't be able to hug the wall like I am. But they do have these little, like, grooves down here, which are kind of like handholds. I mean, it's only this much. It's like a half inch, if that. So, it makes it kind of easier to handle and carry. This thing is kind of heavy, and once you load it up, it is a pretty good chunk to carry. But I just don't have room for the handles. They do include them if you need them. One other neat feature this has pull this out here you see we got this divider so when you have this guy in here you've got two options you can either put it on like that or like this or you can simply store the thing underneath and it doesn't make it sit any higher or anything not that I can see Because this is still, uh, well, it does sit a tiny bit higher. Because you can see this doesn't quite meet. Um, so it will cost you whatever the height of that is, you know, maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch. So the CF50 is 52 quarts. It's 1.7 cubic feet. I'm not sure if that includes both compartments or not. I'm going to run their specs down on screen here. You will not find an affiliate link below, but what I will tell you is these things were running for about 500 on Amazon. I had one in my kind of save for later shopping cart for a long time and the price just jumped to over 600 but I did find this one for 500 on eBay. So look around and you can maybe find a good deal. So two thumbs up so far on the Dometic CF50. If you have any comments or questions leave them below. I'll see you next time YouTube.